This is part two of the file folder journal. This is a glue and paste journal. I've utilized scrapbooking paper, some coffee stain paper to create a file folder journal that is folded into itself and makes a nice little journal for tucking down inside a bag, etc. My name is Peg. I call myself Two Old Crows Mixed Media. And I hope you will take a moment and subscribe to my channel. And of course, that notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. So let's get started in the finishing of this project. This is side one that we have completed. This is a little fold out with the coffee stain paper and a little notebook flip or waterfall notebook created with the coffee stain paper. An envelope and tags that we generated to slide down inside this little pocket and while I have this out I'm going to add a little bit of that boho stamp onto them that we've been kind of doing throughout. So these are very easy, very quick to create and this um, is just again two little pockets that hold a couple of tags and adding that boho stamp because we were using it throughout. This is two um, or a hinged pocket that folds onto another pocket. We created this little booklet and this hinges up to expose the pocket full of tags as well as this lovely little Victorian lady. So let's get this closed back up and flip this over and decorate the back side of this file folder journal. Again, this is one file folder that we use to create this particular piece and then we cut another file folder to create the pockets and so forth inside. So I want to add some quotes on these tabs before we flip this over. So I'm just pulling out my, my words and my quotes. And if you would like a download for these, you can receive these in the file files on my Facebook group, Two Will Crows Mixed Media. So pop on over and, and join that Facebook group and, and you'll have all kinds of downloads as we move along. So I'm just staining those with vintage photo and gluing them onto the tabs. So now let's measure the back and just make sure that we're cutting the scrapbook paper to the correct size to create our background. So we'll go ahead and get some of that cut and ready to glue down. And I'm going to go ahead and cut for each individual space. There, yeah, that works nice. We'll round off the corners. Link up the outside edges with the vintage photo. And I just want to expand on the inking on this to make sure that we don't have just exposed file folder that hasn't been given that distress look. So I have this washi tape that, you know, I decided I'm going to go back and just kind of add some here and there because it's this little gold dot washi tape <clears throat> that I used on a couple of places and I think it would just kind of pull everything together if I just created some more of that throughout. <clears throat> so as we go, we'll improvise and decorate. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm just making some drawing cards, you know, as we move along. And these are some Sissic dies that I purchased. Um, they're the Thinlets. 
and I'm going to run these through my embossing folder just to give us some pieces that we can use to decorate this other side and get these pages decorated up. And I'm just cutting the little flowers out of scrapbooking paper that I've pulled aside that I feel matches everything that we're doing thus far. Okay, now we have all of those out. And there's this little logo that is included in that page, that 12 by 12 scrapbooking page, that I'm gonna cut out as well. And I like this sheet here that has the shoes, but it also has text on the other side and I'm not exactly sure which side I want to use for that but or which where I want to cut from on this particular piece so just get everything organized once again measure and decide on I think we'll cut two and then pick which one looks better. And I like that, but I think I like this one a little bit better. I'm gonna glue that down. Of course, ink around the edges. And we'll use that as our as our bottom layer. Now this piece that we're creating right now is the front of the book or the front of the file folder journal. So I'm gonna make that a little pocket and we'll be able to tuck something right there on the front cover as well. So we'll glue that down on three sides and leave that little opening for us to tuck something, a little journaling card or something inside that pocket. I have this tag left over. I'm just gonna run it through the thin loop. I like that khaki, that dark khaki color. I think it is a nice contrast for this Victorian vintage type paper so I'm going to just ink that up and I created little of course those little thinlet dies you just run through your big shot or through your embossing folder and I just created a little placard if you will and that other little logo that we cut out of that scrapbooking paper I'm gonna lay right here on the bottom. Add in some cheesecloth underneath that, or maybe on top of it. Yeah, I think I'll cut down a little piece of cheesecloth across the corner of it. Put a little lacquer down. Now we have this little flower, we'll just kind of ink that up and then glue this little flower down along the side of that pocket and you know kind of extend it past a bit. Nice little journaling card we can tuck down in there. And now I think I'm gonna date this. So I'm pulling out the, the small little number stamps number and alphabet stamps that I have in this little wooden box. I'm just going to stamp 2021 on a file folder. Strip. We'll ink around that. <clears throat> and we'll put that inside 
a placard on top of a little scrap of cheesecloth. So now that we <clears throat> have that done, we'll carry on creating some journaling cards for inside. Maybe a pocket. Who knows? We'll just decorate as we go, right? Picture of this little bodice needs some lace, I think. I'm just add a little strip of that lace along the bottom. I think that looks good. So that's what happens when we open up. We'll add something down here, maybe. I'm not sure what we're gonna add. Okay, this little journaling spot. And this piece of paper I also received in a happy mail. And I, happy meal, happy mail. And I, I love this linen texture type paper. I'm not sure if it was pin crafted or if it is you know, something that was purchased, but I, I believe it's handcrafted and it's beautiful. Lay that down <clears throat> and we'll put our little journaling spot on top of it. And we're going to use more of that paper. On another section. <clears throat> this is the back. Add a little scrap on the side of that to just layer it a bit in there. I think that looks good. You don't want too much going on on the on the back. You can put a little bit of that washi tape down to kind of bring that in. Those gold little gold dots in, and maybe this little piece of embossed toilet paper roll. Stick that there. So I think that looks good. So I think we'll call that back finish. And I'm just making another little notepad. I'm going to make all of these the same, same size, not in a watercolor. I'm just going to make a very simple little notepad. We'll add some of the washi tape on it, maybe throughout it on different pages so that we have some consistency of decoration. I'm just folding a piece of paper to put over the top. It's just a coffee stain paper. I just folded that down and I'll fold that over those staples to hide the staples. Put a little piece of washi tape there. Ink around the outside edges and then we'll glue this in. There we go. 
decorated. We'll stick the tags back in so this folds in nicely. We have the back completed. Let's make sure everything is glued into place. crazy about the abundance of washi tape I have up here so I'm going to cover some of that up with some cheesecloth and maybe a quote so we have quotes throughout cheesecloth throughout washi tape throughout we use coffee stain paper scrapbooking paper just taking those quotes that were printed, printed on white piping paper and distressing them with vintage photo ink. We'll glue that quote down. Make a sorry silk tie and I'm going to put two sorry silk to just kind of weight it down a little bit but I want to make sure I have a length that works and then I'm going to go back where we had the medical tape and just put just adding some additional decoration along that line with the sorry silk so I just fanned that sorry silk out or spread the sorry silk out and glued that to the outside edge of the book so we have the sorry silk tie and we have the sorry silk spine now I'm just making sure that's adhered and it take the vintage photo down the edge ink it up a little bit and then we'll tie those little beads. On. And I'm just slipping them over and just tying, just tying a little knot, slip knot, where they can't come off. And now we'll just tie this up. And that pretty much completes this book. Now what we'll do, now that it is all finished, is I will go back and add the liquid pearls in all the places I would like to see those, those little liquid pearl dots. Just right now, cutting off any little tattered pieces of that. Sorry silk, but you know, don't need to be there. Let's get the liquid pearls out and just go throughout and decorate with liquid pearls wherever they look appropriate. And that is going to finish this file folder journal. Once again, file folder made with one file folder just by folding it in and folding it on top of itself using the second file folder to cut the pockets and all the embellishments utilizing 12 inch by 12 inch scrapbooking paper, copy stain paper, a couple of toilet paper rolls, the embossing machine and we are good to go. This is the finished product. It was easy to put together and I hope you enjoyed it. And the flip through for this is attached below or in the description below, as is the file folder part one where we did the other side. So thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching my video. My name is Peg. Follow my channel, Two Old Crows Mix Media. I have the two other file folder videos linked here. So you also have access to them on the same screen. So, Please give me a like, 
love to hear your comments and of course i appreciate you subscribing to my channel bye for now